Hello, welcome to the Mad Batter channel. My name's Chris. If you find this video interesting and or useful, perhaps you'll consider giving it a like and possibly subscribing to the channel, which would be a great help. Many thanks. In my last couple of videos, I have shown how to convert an autumn scene like this into a spring scene like this using Luminar Neo and how to create a preset to use on other pictures. Then in my last video, I showed how to take this sort of picture and extract the color gradient from it in Photoshop and apply that to another image. In today's video, I'm going to go back to this autumn scene and show how to convert this into a spring scene in Photoshop itself and also how to create a preset in Photoshop. Of course, being Photoshop, there are very many ways of doing such a conversion. In this video, I'm going to be using Adobe Camera Raw, as that allows a one button creation of a preset. If you're doing it in the main body of Photoshop, you'd have to record an action, which I might come back to later. So I've already made the necessary preparatory steps by creating a duplicate layer, which keyboard is Command or Control J, and then converting it to a smart object. In Windows, you right click and convert to smart object. The reason for doing this is it gives you much more flexibility. So you can mask out the effect of the camera or filter on the copy layer. You can also change blend modes or opacity. And of course you can go back after the event and change the camera or settings if you don't like or you want to tweak what you've already done. So now we need to go up to filter and camera raw filter. If you are opening directly a raw file it will take you straight into the Adobe camera raw dialog which is the same as this. Now as a first step I want to do some basic adjustments because these reds and yellows are very oversaturated and bright. So we're going to bring the highlights down to about minus 55 and the whites down to about minus 40. The shadows are going to bring up to plus 60 and a slight touch of contrast, 5 or 6. Then we're going to HSL and in the saturation tab we're going to take the reds to minus 40. This is all preparatory work to get the colours nearer to yellow or green. And we'll take the oranges to minus 30. In the hue tab we'll take reds to plus 100 and oranges to plus 50. Again moving things toward yellows. And then finally in the luminance tab we'll take the reds down to minus 30 and oranges and yellows both down to minus 20. Ish. And that's our basic adjustments done. We'll now go into the color grading tab and on the overall tab we'll change the global hue to about 160 and the luminance to plus 5. saturation to about plus 50 and then in the highlights we'll take again the hue to 160 the saturation to about 60 and the luminance to minus 90 In, in the mid-tones, I'll take the hue to 180, 
saturation 77 and the luminance to minus 100 so that's got us our green and then we'll go into the curves and in the green channel we'll just move it down slightly and in the blue channel we'll move it down slightly more so that's our adjustment before we do anything specific to this image we need to save these adjustments as our preset which is easy to do we just hit on these three dots here and create presets I'll call it autumn to spring and that's our basic conversion preset done I appreciate that both the water and the sky have been messed up but that's why we did this camera raw filter adjustment on a separate layer so we can mask it out at the end of the process I now want to do one image specific thing to this photo which is not part of the preset and that is to get rid of some of these bluish or cyan tinges in some of these conifer trees so to do that we'll go up here into masking and choose a brush mask we'll reduce the flow and density and then brush on this bluish looking tree here we don't need to get all of it and then the adjustment we need is to go into the color tab and hue and reduce this to about minus 100 so that's got rid of the green as you can see if I turn the mask off sorry it's got rid of the cyan blue so having done that we can now go back to our brush and start to brush in where we see blue obviously the longer and the more careful you are with this adjustment the better result you'll get but you can see we are getting rid of some of this blue and maybe some of this stuff along here so that looks a bit better a bit more blue down there and a bit of blue here okay so this is the final adjustment or edit and we can click OK and there's our spring image what we now need to do just to complete the edit is to remove the effects of the adjustment on the sky and the water if I turn the adjustment off you can see the sky and the water look significantly different so to do that we need to paint black on the camera raw mask and the first thing we'll do is select sky now as our background color down here is black if you press control and backspace you'll see we've filled the, ma the sky in the mask with black control D to deselect and then we also need to select the water a small feather of two pixels just use the rectangular marquee tool again control and backspace control D to deselect so if I alt click on the mask you see we've masked off the sky and we've masked off the water down the bottom alt click again and there's our adjusted image so finally I'll just adjust applying this preset we just created to another image so we'll switch this autumn colors here and in order to maintain the same flexibility we'll duplicate the layer control J right click on it convert to smart object and then go into filter camera or filter now we just need to click on this preset button up here 
and there's our preset just click to apply click OK and we're done now of course you can make adjustments to this we could try a different blend mode such as color that looks to me slightly more nuclear so I think I'll stick to normal we could reduce the opacity to get reduce the intensity of the green that's a matter of personal taste I think I'll leave mine at about 80 percent what I personally would want to do is to remove some of this green from the the valley mist so we'll click on the brush tool black is our foreground color now we don't want to paint with 100 percent flow and opacity so we'll reduce opacity to about 50 percent by hitting the 5 key and shift 5 sorry and shift 3 will reduce flow to about 30 percent alt right click we've got a fairly soft brush so we just now start painting to just subtly reduce the green at the top of the image and there we are so that's our autumn spring preset applied to another image fairly simple and quick process so i hope you found this useful and interesting indeed and many thanks for watching